Do you know that you can take your penis to the gym and exercise it? Stay tuned and find out. Men, do you know that you can exercise your penis as you can exercise your biceps or tricep muscle? It's all from knowing how to do it and what it means. Let me tell you what, your testosterone level, your testosterone is your hormone, is what makes you a man. Testosterone in a man is 100 times more than in a woman. And conversely, women have more estrogen, 100 times more estrogen than a man. But a man really needs his testosterone in order for him to kind of have masculine features. But testosterone is responsible for libido, is responsible for energy, focus, help you build your muscles, is responsible for your bone health. It's also responsible for your mood stability as well too. And know this, when you get older, it starts to drop at around age 35 at 1% a year. It's highest when you're in your 20s. Unfortunately, things start falling apart a little bit after the age of 35 at a rate of about 1% a year. And that's it if you're healthy. So if you're at 50 years old, your testosterone fall down to about 15%, 1.5, which is not too bad. But if you're stressed, if you're overweight, you have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, you're not sleeping, you're smoking, it actually accelerates the percentage of the fall from the age of 35. So know that. Again, you hear me talk about diet, exercise, sleep, and stress reduction. Those are the thing not only good for your erection, but also can decrease the level of your testosterone. So why am I talking about testosterone in relation to exercising the penis? The penis muscle or the corpus cavernosum have a lot of testosterone receptors on the cell. So me, a receptor is kind of like a key and lock. So the key is testosterone and the whole of the key is the testosterone receptor. Testosterone is the key and the testosterone receptor is on the corpus cavernosum or the muscle of the penis. And the muscle of the penis has a lot of the hole that goes in with the key into there. So when testosterone binds to the corpus cavernosum, it actually helps relax the muscle and therefore help with filling of the blood into the penis. So consequently, when you get older, past the age of 35, you lose about 1% a year of those because you don't have enough testosterone. So the receptors are sitting there going, oh, I need more testosterone. It doesn't have enough testosterone. So over the years, what happened is that when there's not enough testosterone, the corpus cavernosum muscle, which is a smooth muscle, actually start to atrophy or shrink, and then it starts to have scar tissue in it, a condition called fibrosis. That's just part of aging, which is related to less testosterone production by the body. And therefore, because of the less testosterone, the muscle start to shrink and start to have scar tissue development. So on this picture here, I'm going to show you the picture on the left is a flaccid penis or non-erect penis. And you see that the muscles are kind of shrinking a little bit and the blood vessels are there. But then you see the picture on the right with erect penis where the arteries are enlarged. But as the arteries enlarge, it fills the corpus cavernosum or the penis muscle with blood. As the blood is filled, it then compresses the veins that are on the outside of the tunica albuginea. So imagine like a sausage. You have the meat inside, and then the sausage is wrapped around with a liner. It's wrapped with a thin film. Well, the tunica albuginea is like that. It's like a sausage that's wrapped around with a film. And when the corpus cavernosum engorges with blood, that pushes against the veins, and it compresses the vein. However, when you get older, the muscle start to atrophy and start to have scar tissue in there. So the corpus cavernosum or the penis muscle doesn't expand as much that fill with blood. And therefore it 
doesn't have enough pressure to compress the vein. That's called being asleep, and that is the most common cause of ED. So that means that the muscle is not expanding. So having known that, you can exercise the penis. How do you do that? You can exercise the penis with using the penis pump, like the one I'm showing here. You can use the penis pump here, and what it does is that when you put your penis in through here, it has negative suction, and what it does is that it creates this negative suction that helps the penis have an erection, and the erection is full with blood. And when it's like full of blood, it expands the penis muscle, and it is full of oxygen. It actually makes the muscle more flexible. What it does is that prevent atrophy and also even prevent scar tissue development. It's almost like when you go to the gym and you do a biceps curl, you're bringing blood to the muscle and expand the muscle, and it brings oxygen to the muscle. And then when you bring enough blood into it, it starts to tear. When it starts to tear, your body starts to heal. When your body heals the muscle, it starts to get a little bit bigger. Well, you can do the same thing actually to the penis with the penis pump. The penis pump will actually keep the penis tissue in good health. It actually expands it and will actually prevent it from getting atrophy. And that's what's important because as you get older, you have less testosterone. You probably are not having as much intercourse as you used to because every time you have an erection, you're actually exercising your penis. But if you're not having erection or less intercourse, you're just not exercising as much. So there's such a thing as use it or lose it. Well, now you have the penis pump. You can actually do it on your own and exercise your penis. Now, how often do I recommend that you use the penis pump? Well, at least three times a week, every day if you can, but don't do it more than 10 minutes twice a day. Because if you pump too much, you're going to actually cause the penis to be fatigued. So having said that, you can actually use the penis pump even if you don't have ED because it's also a form of maintenance and a form of prevention. And it's also keeping your penis healthy. It's almost like taking your penis to the gym. Why do you go to the gym? You want to go to the gym because you want to maintain your muscle mass. You want to feel healthy. So it's better to do prevention and maintenance than it is to be reactive when you already have ED or when you're starting to see coronies or you're starting to see that you have some shrinkage. So having said that, I'm a big proponent of maintenance and prevention. Know that you can take your penis to the gym with the penis pump. And then you can also combine that with nitrous oxide and with using a penis ring as a constriction and also with a traction device. I talk about it in my other video. Check out here at my Modern Man Crib is where I have all the information regarding the penis pump and the lasso ring for the penis ring as well as a nitrous oxide. I'm a big proponent of nitrous oxide because nitrous oxide helps bring in blood flow to the penis. So you would take a nitrous oxide about 30 minutes or an hour before you pump. And then when you pump, pump for 10 minutes and leave it there and then deflate. And then you can also put a penis ring around the base and keep the blood in there for 10 minutes as well too. So having said that, I hope you find it helpful. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, I would appreciate it if you like and subscribe, put a notification and check out my Modern Man Crib here for all the devices I talk about. And just know that you can take your penis to the gym and you can exercise the penis. And you want to be thinking about prevention and maintenance at this point. And I will talk about it more in depth and I will answer all your questions in the Modern Man Club. It's a space where I coach you to get out of ED with natural solution and go to this website called noedman.com. Again, noedman.com. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Are you struggling and frustrated in finding a solution for ED? 
Well, I have just the thing for you. It's called the Modern Man Club, led by yours truly, Dr. Ann. Together, we're redefining male sexuality and embracing a holistic approach to overcoming ED without medication or surgery. I will provide a protective environment for a community and proven strategy to overcoming ED. It is a safe place, expert coaching by me and my team. We provide holistic approach to overcoming ED and an empowering community of men with ED supporting one another and lots and lots of educational resources. Visit mensexualityclub.com at the link here on my right and connect with us and reclaim control over your sexual health. I'll see you there. Thanks for listening to the Sexual Health for Men podcast. If you love this episode, then please take a screenshot on your phone and post it on Facebook, Instagram, or wherever you post. And be sure to tag me and let me know why you like this episode and what you like to hear in the future. That will help me know what's great for you, and I would love to give you the most incredible free gift designed to help you improve performance quickly. Go to my website at sexualhealthformenpodcast.com to get the book, The Five Common Costly Mistakes Men Make When Facing ED. I would appreciate it if you subscribe, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen, and just know that you can have sexual vitality for life. I appreciate you. Until next time.